Welcome to H2K Infosys. H2K Infosys is a e-verify business based in Atlanta, Georgia, United States. We provide 100% job-oriented, instructor-led, face-to-face, true live online software training programs. It also includes access to Cloud Test Lab with software tools. We provide live project for you to work on. We also provide assistance with mock interviews, resume preparation and review, and job placement assistance. H2K Infosys is trusted by so many students across the world. H2K Infosys provides world-class services in IT training with real-time project work for corporates and individuals, special IT training for MS students in the United States, software design development, QA manual and automation, performance testing and maintenance, IT staff augmentation, job placement assistance and tech support. Yes, we have the deploy.path. This deploy.path is the web app folder of the Tomcat. So in this, I'll exactly give you. So, you know, it could be different for different people. If you have like directly on the desktop, you have to give the this path. So this is the deploy path of the Tomcat, web app folder. So inside the web app folder, the name, it has like the string path, right? So what does it do here? It, get, it goes to the Tomcat web app and inside the directory, string app, it, it deletes all the files. Folks, if you see this notation, there are different kind of notations that we use. When you say dot, star star slash this, star dot star, it deletes all the files. The star star slash this is a notation that is follow to include all the files. In a deletion, we want to include all the files. When you say a file set and then we use include, in that specific directory, you can include specific file pattern. I want to include only XML. I say star or XML. If you want to include only classes, right? Here in this specific example, if you see, we have used star dot class. Means it only deletes dot class files. If it has any property files or something else, it does not delete them. But if you specify this pattern, star star slash star dot star, star dot star means it deletes all the files. And we have different targets as build. Right? Some projects we say it as a compile, and some projects we say it as a build. Right? So what do we want to do when we say build or compile? We want to compile the source code. Right? What do we want to compile? We want to compile the Java code. Right? So where do we have the Java files in the current project? We have all the Java files in the SRC folder, right? So we have to specify and compile the Java files in the specific folder, right? So before doing the exact compilation, we are creating a directory, build dot. Right? So what is this build directory? It is class. So when we come for the first time, you, you might not have the web content web NF classes. So what it does, it does create it and this is the task. Folks delete all each thing. They are called as tasks in AND. So there's a task called as Java C task, which does the compilation. The Java files compilation is achieved through the Java C task. And folks, Whenever we do a compilation, right, it has to know the Java files because in these source code or in these Java files, right, we have the spring example. How does, when it is compiling, right, the, it is, the and build script is doing this, but still it, it has to know about these classes, right? How does it know about these classes? It references the path. Whenever we do it, Java C, we specify a class path here. And we're asking it to reference it from the master class path. 
And starting, if you remember, folks, we have created a path, right? And given an ID file. It, it could be anything. We usually name it a class path or master class path. And we include all the necessary jar files and source code, I mean, uh, the dot class files inside the class path. And this path is actually used by who uses this path is the Java class in any class. The class that actually uses the path is the Java. So the build target, what it does, it creates a folder with content that I have classes and folks for the Java C we have to tell where is your source code right that is using this SRC. We are specifying the path as SRC dot there. And what is this SRC directory? We have specified it as SRC. Because I have my Java files in the SRC. So when I want to do a compilation right what I do Run as and build. Folks, the default target is usage. You know, we're going to see rest of the target, but when we don't change anything, by default it is usage. Because where is it coming? We have specified in the project, we have specified the default. But I could select any target uh, I want. If you want to do a build, right? I could select it. And folks, we could even change the order, which, you know, we'll see after adding so many things. But what happens when I run it? Here, if you observe this action, right? It's executing the usage. It's echoing everything. As I said, where is that? It's just echo. And the build. So, build is executing the Java C task, right? Which actually compiles the class file. So, for now, let's delete this to, you know, to exactly see. It, it is actually doing it. It is actually doing the compilation. So what am I doing? I'm deleting all the this to the com code, right? This class doesn't have anything. Right? Let me just you know. Sometimes folks, when we just don't change something, right? It doesn't figure it. So it has like a listener or something which instantly checks if dot Java file has modified after the previous compilation. And sometimes it doesn't do. It's, it's a known issue. When it doesn't do it, just put a space or something in a dot Java file. I mean, I, I'm sure I know it sounds weird, but sometimes it happens. So, but, and I want to run the build, right? So we have the usage and build, right? So when we run it, run. Actually, you know, uh, I have reformatted my system and I don't have this Tomcat installation right here. So it's giving me error. So let me just take off that. I'm just doing the station there. Give me a minute, folks. I think somebody is trying to reference. Actually, whenever we try to deploy in a specific folder, it, it tries or it looks for this folder 
and whenever we don't have it, it's just throwing error. Currently, I don't have the Tomcat installation on my system, so it's just warming. So whenever we have compiled, right? So Still looking for the school board. Um, I mean, I'm sorry, very sorry for like, you know, this kind of disturbance, but it's actually looking for the Tomcat and I don't have like the Tomcat running in my machine. So it's, it's a kind of bombing. Okay, no worries. Let's just proceed with the rest of the targets and everything. So folks, actually this build compiles your dot Java file and copies into the build directory. Because this destination directory, we have specified it as weapon and web enough classes and the source version. We have to specify which Java runtime environment it is. It's 1.5 or 1.6. We have to specify it here. What this primarily needs is the source directory wherein the .java files are present and once it compiles. Right. Once it compiles, it copies them into the destination directory, and we have to provide the class. This is, these three things are mandatory or important for the Java C task, and the Java C task actually does the compilation. And once we compile them, right, and we want to bundle it, right? Actually, what else do you want to have? Is the views, the JSTs, and you want to have the configuration files, right? Whatever the configuration files that you have, right? So whatever the content that is present in the web content folder, the entire content is needed by the web server. Isn't it? It needs the JSPs. It needs the compiled classes, right? The compiled classes will be present under classes folder. And the deployment descriptor, which is nothing but the web.xml file. And 
the framework specific configuration file any tag libraries right any tag libraries that we are going to use all these things are needed for the server all these things are we need to deploy them into the server right so we could have usually we have two different tags then we say one thing is you just want to copy this entire folder right there in your server which we do it very rarely many a times what we bundle it into a var file so that is actually done using the var file here we are just when you say deploy we are just copying this entire directory so the we are doing a copy we are specifying the root directory as web directory which is nothing but the web content so folks web content is a folder which actually has all the content that's needed for deploying as a web application when we want to deploy we don't need the java code what we need is the classes those are present in the web content web and classes folder and we need the jsp the deployment script and all the configuration files all tld everything has to be present in the web content otherwise they won't be recognized let's say if you have something in a different folder which is needed for you know uh, in the run time that won't be available for the server run time whatever is available is the web content folder so the deploy what it does it, it does a copy from the web content folder to your deploy path the deploy path is read from the build dot property path usually the deploy path will be the deployment folder of the server for tomcat the deployment folder is web app so here we have to provide the exact path where you install your tomcat system uh, sorry tomcat server and the web app so what it does it exact it copies directly into the web app folder with the name what is the name that we are giving here it's the screen app so whenever we do a basically the deploy it actually copies into the tomcat web app folder with the name spring app and when we say deploy var right there is a different target that's created for deploy var and what this does this bundles the entire project into a single dot var file so for that it, we have to specify the deployment this is here and the web dot xml and what are the files that you want to include in the creation of this var file it's just nothing but a zip file dot var file so whatever the files that you want to include is is specified the directory which is nothing but the web content and we include all the files all the files in the web content so all the content of the web content folder is bundled into a single dot wr file and folks you see something called as a depends here right is it this and here also you see depends right what does it indicate whenever i try to execute the target deploy right just deploy it internally executes the target build as well so let's say for instance i think it's, it's going to bounce in but i just want to show you right here when i select deploy or when i select deploy bot we are just doing this too, right but when i run this thing it internally executes the build also right but we haven't specified the build target to get executed right but it's still getting executed why because 
the target that we selected deploy is dependent on build Th that's what is different so if, if we say build is dependent on something else that gets executed so when we say deploy first build target gets executed and then deploy gets executed same is the case with deploy war also when we specify deploy war it executes the build first and then comes here so these are the targets the are the primary targets that are used for you know how the best drill targets are enough so see we could create different targets you know uh, i'll create like one target for the creation of the table and here you know i'm just saying a sequel to get executed right and you know we could specify different targets we could specify different targets for tomcat start tomcat install right so there are different so many of our students have given testimonials on how our training programs are you will find them on kudzu.com and on our website h2kinfosys.com on our website h2kinfosys.com you will also find more detailed information on who we are the courses that we offer what each course covers also if you're interested in a demo program please register on our home page on the left hand side just give us more information about yourself and we will send you a link for a demo class the demo class is absolutely free experience our commitment by just attending an orientation workshop at no cost our team of faculty and advisors are here to guide you with the right information If you still have more questions please feel free to call us call us at 770 777 this is a united states number if you're calling from the uk call us at 020 337 you can also email us at training at h2kinfosys.com or h2kinfosys at gmail.com Thank you for watching our videos. We wish you a great career in information technology.